The map in Fortnite has gone through too many changes to even count at this point. Sure, there are the massive location changes every season that any player could clearly see, but think about all the tiny changes too. Every single season, so many small parts of the map are changed, like maybe the location of a car, the addition of a new shack, or even just moving a tree. Now with all this talk of change, you are probably already assuming that this video is going to be covering changes in Season 9. But you thought wrong. I am talking about change because instead of thinking about the present game that we have now, today we are going to be reminiscing about what the game used to be. Many of the original players started in fall of 2017. Not many would guess that the game would evolve into what we have today, with crazy locations like Neo Tilted. So to honor everyone that has been playing this game since its inception, today we are going to be taking a dive into locations that we wish were still in the game, but instead met their unfortunate demise at the start of a new season. With all of that said, let's get right into the top 5 Fortnite locations that we miss playing. But hey, before we kick things off, the next time you're buying V-Bucks, make sure to use our supporter creator code, ArcadeCloudPlays. We're the team that also brings you the squad, so everything helps. Now, where were we? Number 5. Lazy Links Starting us off today at the number 5 spot, we have perhaps one of the most short-lived locations on here. Lazy Links was a golf resort-themed location that hosted a large country club, massive swimming pool, entire golf course, tennis courts, and tons of other little entities. Lazy Links was also a hub for ATKs, since they are the closest things to golf carts. Naturally, they would be all over the place in this location. Lazy was also in the game for two seasons, as it was added in Season 5, and then removed in favor of Lazy Lagoon in Season 8. Also, I am more than aware that I just stated that the name changes would not be getting a spot on the list, but this is a lot more than just a name change. With Dusty Divot, there was a large change in that it was destroyed by a literal meteor, but it was not erased from the map. The large barns were still there, and it was apparent that this was supposed to be out of nowhere. With what happened to Lazy Lynx, they just kept the Lazy because it went with Lagoon, and then ditched the rest. Like if today was your first day playing Fortnite, you would never in a million years guess that it used to be a golf course. With Dusty, someone could probably piece together what happened. Anyway, Lazy Lynx makes the list because although it replaced a very good location, it in itself was an alright location. Having a place to reliably get an ATK and have the ability to cart around the map was nice, and it also never had too many people landing there. So with a decent amount of loot, you were usually pretty set for the game. This place also generally had a vending machine spawn and it was surrounded by trees and brick, so it would be no problem getting a high rarity weapon at the start of a game. While Lazy Links may not have been the most loved or the most missed, it is a good example of how even solid locations just gotta go sometimes to make room for something bigger. At least, Lazy Lagoon was not a disappointment, so it didn't end up getting removed for nothing. Number 4. Flush Factory Next up on today's list, we are going to have the classic Flush Factory. Many of you may be groaning and turning in your seats after hearing the Flush made the list, but hear me out, there are some good reasons for this. Flush Factory had been a staple in Fortnite for many seasons, remaining in the game until Season 7 when the Iceberg hit and it ended up being replaced by Happy Hamlet. Flush Factory was a bit like the other factory points of interest, but it had a spin in it that it was completely toilet themed. Yeah, I, uh, I do not know where they got the idea to make a toilet factory and throw it in on the map, but I'm very glad they did. This was one of the funnier locations, as everywhere you looked, there was some sort of hidden toilet, and there was an entire assembly line just full of toilets. This entire location was an elementary school joke. The loot here was pretty decent since people rarely ever came. If you and your squad wanted to play things safe for one game and just focus on getting set up, Flush would be a fantastic place to drop, as it has plenty of loot and tons of resources. The entire building can be harvested for brick and metal, and there are enough trees surrounding the location to have a decent amount of wood as well. The main problem, and pretty much the downfall of Flush Factory, was its location. Although it may have been good for collecting, it was quite possibly in one of, if not the worst, possible spots in the game. It was located in the very south of the map, meaning if the circle did not spawn close, which it rarely did, no matter what, you were in for a hike. So the long run was not even easy, and you would constantly have to build and waste resources trying to get over the mountains. So while the loot, resources, and atmosphere of Flush Factory may have been pretty good, its location brings it down a bit. But still, definitely not enough for it to miss this list. Number 3. Pro Landing if you were to ask any seasoned Fortnite veteran or streamer which location they wished was back in the game, they would likely not even give you a named location. The most probable answer, though, is going to be the old factories next to where Dusty Depot was. 
These were a pretty standard set of the factories. However, their location, loot, and resources were unbeatable. Since they were right next to the old Dusty Depot, they were in the middle of the map which allowed players to have lots of flexibility when the storm decided where it wanted to go. They also always had really nice loot and had lots of trees and wood stacks around them, so materials were very easy to come by. It was also a very popular location, so if you happen to be someone looking for some action, like a streamer for example, this place was chock full of targets. These factories were unfortunately destroyed in Season 4 when that damn meteor hit, creating Dusty Divot and taking these away. The funniest part about the situation was that more people ended up being mad about losing these factories, rather than losing Dusty Depot. To be honest, I personally never landed here a bunch because I was still pretty bad at the game, and was just scared to go there and get murked by a bunch of sweaty people. But trust me, if you ask any frequent lander of the OG factories, they will go on for days about how great these were and how they needed to be brought back. Number 2. Anarchy Acres A bit of personal bias may be starting to kick in here at the number 2 spot, but here we have Anarchy Acres. I mentioned earlier how Lazy Lynx had replaced a better location, and that better location is none other than Anarchy. If you did not already know this, Anarchy Acres was just about the same exact thing as Fatal Fields. The loot here was tremendous, with ample chests always spawning, making it feel almost impossible to walk out without some sort of rare weapon. Not a ton of people landed here, but there was always a few, so it was a good spot to get warmed up for your game and grab some confidence after you obliterate some other kids here. It also had tons of trees surrounding it and even some inclines and random spots where you could snag a few more chests. This one is a squad favorite, and definitely one that lots of people miss, even if it was just the same exact location as Fatal Fields. Number 1. Greasy Grove I think that it has become pretty clear not only to the community, but even to the game's developers that there is a massive uprising to bring Greasy Grove back. No, Epic, we do not just want you to put Durburger in a new location every two weeks. We are tired of that. Is it really too much to ask for you to just give us all of Greasy Grove back? It doesn't even have to be in the same location that it was. At the number one spot today, the Fortnite location that we miss playing the most, Greasy Grove. Greasy was in the southwestern part of the map and consisted of a neighborhood and a few attractions, but the big draw of this place was none other than the Durr Burger, which was the massive fast food burger place that Greasy revolved around. The loot at Greasy was unmatched, as with so many houses and so many chests, you would have no problem getting a good weapon. Greasy also always had some form of other people there, so you could always count on it for a quality fight and some good action. It was filled with bushes which provided quick and easy wood, and enough houses to steal from too. Greasy, like many other locations in the southwest, met its demise when Season 7 came around. It was filled and frozen over with ice, and the only part of it we can even get to now is by mining through the roof of an old gas station to get underneath. But besides that, everything else is frozen solid. Losing Greasy Grove was a massive blow to the entire Fortnite community, and although it has only even been gone for two seasons now, there was nowhere else that I and many others miss playing more. There were too many memories for it to go so soon. Now we can only hope that someday it is brought back to its former glory. Well, that was the five locations we missed the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to swipe up and subscribe to The Countdown for even more awesome gaming content. See you next time.